Hi everyone, welcome to another video in the journey began with Eva YouTube series. I hope you enjoy watching today's video and learn something from it. Well, over the years, rural life in Ukampani has greatly improved. Previously, inaccessible areas can easily be accessed because of the improved road networks. Electricity is fairly distributed in many areas which means that a good percentage of the Kampa people no longer need kerosene for lighting. Modern farming methods are being practiced to help combat the prolonged dry seasons which hit Ukampani region to ensure food security. Local towns have really grown. Local health facilities have been built, meaning unlike before, many services have come closer to the local people. This is Machakos town which according to Kenya's history was meant to be the capital city of Kenya. Unfortunately, it was bypassed by the Kenya-Uganda railway line plus the small differences between the British colonialists and the local leadership. It was moved to the now Kenya's capital, Nairobi. Well, as you walk around the town these days, you can notice new buildings coming up, better roads as you enter and leave the town, hotels, new fueling stations, learning institutions, supermarkets, banking institutions and diverse investments in different sectors. If you had visited Machakos town 10 to 20 years ago and you happen to visit today, then you will notice so much has changed. There is a lot of development currently going on in the Ukampandi region. Like right now, I'm walking outside the Machakos locals. Look at what is happening over here, guys. I think they are trying to expand the road as well as uh, build some more parking areas. This is very impressive guys. You can see there is a lot of work going on here. I'm telling you there is a lot of development currently going on in the Ukampani region. I don't know why investors have suddenly decided to invest in Ukampani region but this is good, this is really good. Is Kangundo Road well tarmacked, which has helped its transport along Mombasa Road, which means you can easily access Nairobi via this road. It has also hastened growth of small markets along the road, 
So today we are driving uphill to Ivete Hill somewhere in Kathiani. Let's go check out how life there looks like. I keep telling you guys to stay tuned to this channel for amazing content from Ukampani. So please at this point if you haven't subscribed to this channel, ensure that you subscribe at the end of this video. If the lies to you that Ukampani is a desert, then this is enough proof that Ukampani has some fertile soils too. Imagine a lot of the fresh groceries sold in Machakos town mostly come from this hill, Iveti Hills, which has amazing weather and very hardworking people. Selling timber is another source of income for people living in this hilly area of Machakos since the weather is conducive for tree growing. Life is very peaceful here since it is not densely populated, meaning that the people have enough land for farming and housing. Along the way, we notice that local markets had really grown, pharmacies, local health centers too. You could see well-stocked retail shops, electricity poles along the way, which is enough justification that life in the rural areas has changed for the better. Now it was time to drive back as we enjoy the scenic view of Machakos town and its environs. Wow, it was a day well spent. <music> 